New information about why Oklahoma Governor Mary Fallon just issued a stay of execution for Richard Glossop. The Oklahoma Attorney General Scott Pruitt issuing a statement just within the last hour. He's saying shortly before the scheduled execution, the Department of Corrections advised the Attorney General's office that it did not have the specific drugs identified in the execution protocol. It is unclear why and extremely frustrating to the Attorney General that the DOC did not have the correct drugs to carry out the execution. Our hearts break for the family of Barry Van Trees for having to endure yet another delay. However, the most sobering and important duty for the state is to carry out the punishment of death. Last minute appeals to the U.S. Supreme Court denied and then in that surprise move I just mentioned, she issued the stay. Two Works for you reporter Will Dupree joins me live from outside the prison with the very latest. Will, fill us in. Well, Karen, Richard Glossop's attorneys and supporters actually talked to him on the phone outside the state penitentiary here in McAllister. This, of course, came after that stay of execution was released. And needless to say, Richard Glossop was very excited to get that stay of execution and remain alive tonight. But again, it's a very up and down day of emotions, a roller coaster of emotions for everyone involved. Supporters say they were extremely disappointed after finding out the Supreme Court denied a stay of execution early this afternoon. It appeared like the execution would happen, but cheers rang out from supporters when Governor Mary Fallon surprisingly halted the execution. The governor, of course, said in a release that the DOC had a drug on hand today that is not part Part of the three drug combination legally used to carry out the lethal injection. The DOC will now look into how this drug made it into the mix, but supporters are now criticizing the state. I hope Oklahoma stops trying to kill Richard Glossop. I hope that they give us, we asked Governor Fallon for a 60 day stay. She hasn't answered that. We asked her that yesterday. Give us 60 days. Give us a pardon and parole hearing. There is the most sadistic serial killer on the planet, doesn't lock up a victim for 18 years and constantly dangle death dates over their head. It's premeditated murder in the worst sense of the word. He is being tortured. Initially, I was chosen of, as one of five members of the media to witness the execution. So, of course, now that it has been moved and another stay has been put in place, we will continue our coverage. The new execution date is now set for November 6th. Reporting live in McAllister, Will Dupree, Two Works For You.